The final act, at least on my part tonight, is to launch this second iteration of the Archdiocesan Reconciliation Action Plan. I spoke about the need for a new kind of listening, a new kind of learning, and a new kind of loving. And that's really at the heart, and has been at the heart of this journey that led to our first reconciliation plan, the journey that now continues with this second iteration. It's a remarkable achievement. It hasn't just popped out of nowhere in the last few years. It has very, very deep roots. It's also the work of many hands and hearts. So again, as the Archbishop, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has provided a hand and a heart to shape this Reconciliation Action Plan. Because it's not enough just to listen, that's crucial, it's where it begins. Nor is it enough just to learn, nor is it even enough just to love, unless the love becomes action. And that's really what the rap is all about. It's about concrete action. To try and build bridges, yes, knock down walls, certainly, but to try and get beneath symptoms to tackle causes. As long as you're tackling just the symptoms, they will recur endlessly. And that is the ongoing tragedy of first people's dispossession and disadvantage. So we are trying to get beneath the symptoms to tackle the cause, knowing that this is uh, an issue that goes, as we've said, to the very heart of the nation. So here tonight, in launching the, the RAP, the second iteration, we, not just I, but we, all of us, and many, many people who are not with us here tonight, commit ourselves to serious and perhaps even costly action that will involve sacrifice. So we commit ourselves to that action that takes concrete, concrete shape in the reconciliation plan. So thanks to all who have put it together. And on that note, and as we come towards the end of our celebration, I have the greatest pleasure, indeed the honour, of declaring the latest iteration of the Reconciliation Plan of the Archdiocese of Brisbane well and truly launched. Thank you. Thank you.